do you express your feelings when writing to people? Do you draw little pictures or use emojis, also known as emoticons, which are little pictures of faces or other items to express how you feel? This emoji means happy. Rolling around the floor laughing. Shocked or surprised. This one may mean, do you want to build a snowman? Or it's cold outside. And these three together probably mean that you're sad because your cat has beaten you in a game of chess. But the emoji doesn't convey the full extent of how you feel. The people in these pictures look really happy or sad, but an emoji can't show how happy or sad a person is. We have the same problem when we try to understand God. We can't see him, even though he created the world and everything in it, including ourselves. But God has given us a picture of himself in Jesus, his only son who came to earth to rescue us from our sins, from all the bad things that we have done. But it can be very difficult to see Jesus clearly. Even the disciples who were with him in person over 2,000 years ago did not fully understand who he was or why he had come into this world. Just as an emoji or an image shows only a partial view of what someone is really feeling, so we too cannot fully see what Jesus is like. However, Paul says in the Bible, we don't yet see things clearly. We're squinting in a fog, peering through a mist. But it won't be long before the weather clears and the sun shines bright. We'll see it all then, see it all as clearly as God sees us, knowing him directly, just as he knows us. Now, we don't ever look at the sun directly because it is so bright, we can't see it clearly and we don't want to damage our eyesight. But sometimes, even when we're not looking at the sun, it's so bright that we need to wear dark glasses and we don't then see as clearly everything around us. It's great to be able to see people's faces online through Zoom meetings, especially you young folk, but how much better to see you face to face, which we will eventually be able to do. Just as at the moment, we only have a partial view of Jesus. But when we see him completely, how much better will that be? His presence being brighter than the sun, but we will still be able to look at him. And what's even more encouraging is that Jesus can see all of us all the time, even if we're in our homes, even if we're physically separated from one another, we are never separated from him. He knows each and every one of us perfectly, and he wants us to get to know him. Will it not be great one day to see Jesus face to face? But for that to happen, we have to start with this picture he has given of himself in the Bible. How much do we look at Jesus in the Bible? And now we're going to sing about that. <laughs> 